section of the names in there 56,900 of them that are uh, supposed to be on that very website so uh, the emphasis for uh, the very ones in the daily graphic has to do with those in the central region and uh, there are districts also here so for instance if you look into the daily graphic today uh, there's a central region and then the district of uh, Kipko so names of people who registered in that district with NHIS cards well those names have been deleted and those names have been published in today's edition of the daily graphic but there's more to this let me now go onto the EC website and bring you some more on what really uh, it talks about on this website so this is the Electoral Commission's website. I'm sure you're well aware of it by now. The ec.gov.gh site that many of you are used to now. So if you go onto the website, uh, it's going to show you where you're going to find the names. It's right on the, on the page of uh, the Electoral Commission's website. Okay, so now let's, let's bring you uh, the breakdown of how these names have been published here on the websites of the Electoral Commission. It has a breakdown of uh, the name of the person, and then it goes on to talk about the voter's ID number, as well as the National Health Insurance Card number. So uh, this is it. No, okay, this, this is a different one we'll be bringing to you also in a, in a short while, but I've been speaking of uh, the Electoral Commission's lists, which should be up on, on the screen right about now. Uh, Fred, if you could just open that for me, and then I could... I share with the rest of the world what really the situation is. Okay, so while while we try to work on that, uh, so th this is the discrepancy that we've seen. Uh, well, our research team has been following up on this. And so when you come here, you do see uh, that it says the NHIS card registrants. You just need to click and then it opens to it. So once you click, it takes you to another page, an interface which uh, we've sniped and uh, will be showing up on your screen right now. And uh, okay, so we'll be bringing that to you. Now, this is the situation. So, like I was saying, uh, our research team has been going through this list that has been put up by the Electoral Commission. And uh, apparently, there seems to be a few uh, problems with some of the names that are there. Uh, like I said, it has three compartments. The first compartment has to do with the name of the person. The second uh, has the voter's ID number of whoever's whoever has been deleted from the role. And the third has to do with the National Health Insurance Card number. The discrepancy here is that while in some instances there are seven digits representing the National Health Insurance Card, in other instances there are six digits. Elsewhere, uh, there are about five digits with an asterisk. Uh, even in some instances, there are uh, some pretty interesting things that uh, leave quite a number of people worried over the situation. But, uh, okay, so... From my director is trying to uh, pull up that right away. As soon as he does that, I'll bring to you uh, what... Okay, so that's it. So this is what I was speaking to you about. So that, that appears to be the name of the person. This, the 914100-2726, the number that has been highlighted in the middle, happens to be the voter ID of the person. And in this instance, this comes with six digits for the National Health Insurance Card. And so he says 760803 as the national health insurance card of the person in other uh, instances we have seven digits in some others there are eight digits for instance in the second one that has been highlighted here there are eight digits representing the national health insurance card in the third instance there are seven digits that are here representing uh, the number for the National Health Insurance Card. And uh, I'm sure you do quite remember that the Let My Vote Count Alliance, uh, as well as the NPP, have been raising issues with this very list. And uh, quite a number of them say that the list is problematic and that the EC is just adding some numbers and just throwing numbers in there just so they can uh, make up the 56,900. Uh, this is just one part of what we'll be bringing to you. I think we should move on to the next one. In this instance, uh, you. Uh, Clearly, as you can see, for the National Health Insurance card that has been displayed here, it comes with 6254986, and the very last digit is an asterisk. As to how uh, we are able to identify the person with this asterisk, uh, is also a bit problematic. There's a third instance, another one which I'll also be showing to you. It says, uh, this is the name of the person, Vincent, and the number of uh, the person's uh, voter id that's one two nine one zero one one eight two one now the nhi card here surprisingly does not in any way tally with what we have on the others so this says is vrkta 098a003 totally different from uh, what we've seen throughout 
This is the third instance. We can move on to the fourth instance. Another situation also uh, that you can see on the website, according to the list that has been published by the Electoral Commission. Now, the name of one individual here happens to be a number. It's 85990004. That's the name of the individual. The individual's voter ID number is the same number. And then if you move on to talk about uh, the NHI card number, is also an eight-digit number. That's 6113468. So quite a number of uh, conflicting things we see on that very website. Because uh, for many who want to know if they've really been taken out, how do you know your name if, <laughs> obviously, I'm not sure anyone is called 8599 000 uh, It's a bit problematic to have it that way. But uh, let's try and understand this. Uh, this morning, we've been speaking to the EC. Uh, they've been giving us some answers as to whether it's convincing enough. That's another question. But uh, we'll be coming to that in a bit. Let's now take, uh, let's now speak to David Asante. He's the convener for the Let My Vote Count Alliance. Uh, they raised issues with this even before the EC published it. They said the list was problematic. And uh, apparently, the list seems to be problematic. Let's find out from them whether or not this in any way vindicates their position and uh, what more they would want from the EC. Mr. Asante, uh, good, good morning. Many thanks for joining us here on News Desk. Good morning, Chen Chen So uh, we just brought to you and uh, viewers across the world uh, what our research team has been able to gather so far. A few discrepancies in the lists produced by the Electoral Commission. Is this in any way a vindication of your stand? Thank you very much, Chen Chen Let me say good morning to our viewers. Right. I must congratulate your research team for the work they have done because the last three minutes I have listened to you you have done a serious exposition on the document displayed on the website of the Electoral Commission. Mm -hmm. Just in the last three minutes, the exposés you have put across, I am sure answers all the questions Ghanaians have asked concerning the credibility of the Electoral Commission as an entity. Chen mm -hmm. we cautioned Ghanaians the list did not exist. The EC couldn't produce it. And even if they do, they will lie to the court. Eventually, they fought lists and names and produced 56,000 of them. Now, we have tried the best we can as Let My Vote Count Alliance not to narrow the debate to 56,000 names and the accuracies or inaccuracies, therefore, or thereof, in the list. It would narrow the scope of the debate. So we have desisted from joining the Electoral Commission along that ungodly path of discussing the 56,000 names. Because we have told Ghanaians, the list itself is fictitious and a forged set of lists. When we spoke to Ghanaians and told Ghanaians, the list the Electoral Commission presented to the court and the plaintiffs, we went through them and saw card numbers and telephone numbers. 56,000 names. In the last few hours, you see the problems you have identified. That exposes the wobbly nature of the Electoral Commission as an election management body taking us into election 2016. Look, this particular expose, I'm sure should bring to bear how wobbly the commission is as far as the preparedness for the elections ahead of us is concerned. But our position is that we still maintain the EC forged and faked NHIS card numbers. The 56,000 names are non existent they never ever existed in Ghana's electoral register. They were forged, they were faked, they have never deleted a single name. We are telling you this on authority. Mm. But the point is, the expositions are so mind boggling that Ghanaians have seen through the inherent PC at the commission. Okay. We want to get onto something else. Calling on professionals to be interested in the tabulation of results and policing the ballot on the day of election. Because we can't trust the East. Mr. Santi, hold on briefly, because earlier today on our morning show, that's the AM show, uh, Mr. Jakpasu, who happens to be head of communications at the Electoral Commission, has been attempting an explanation. Well, he's been speaking to Mamavi Owusu Abwaji. Let's take a listen to him, and then uh, we'll take your reaction to that, and then we can move on from there. So we are asking people to go to the various district offices. You see, the emphasis, the focus is on the... At the district level, that is the point of uh, registration. So we expect that people will go to the various district offices 
the polling stations during the exhibition where they are going to check their details and particulars um, in the voters' register, the main and the provisional voters' register, to check whether their names are there. So that uh, when you find your name there, from Monday 18th of July up to the 28th of uh, July, you carry along the necessary um, documents of proof of eligibility. In this case, we're talking about your passport, your driver's license, your national identification card. If you don't have any with two guarantors, then you go and do the real registration exercise. Mm. So wh where's the registration taking place? Is it all polling stations or where? The registration is taking, taking place online at the affected districts of the Electoral Commission. You know, it is not every district um, which return the um, NHAIS card registrant. So there are some districts, this exercise will not take place. But affected districts, you have to go to the district office of the commission mm -hmm. and do your online registration. But I see, for instance, Equia Sera, Equia Sera. There is no location. So how do I know that you're referring to me, Equia Sera? You see, the argument stands that um, when you publish it only in the national daily, it is not everybody who will get access to the newspaper. And uh, we are serializing it, and people, that may not be... Uh, an easy uh, way of getting it, but it's a means of notifying and publicizing it. The focus is at the district level. So if you are a PSR, just pick your voter's ID card, starting from Monday, go to your police station and go and check and know that you have between 18th and 28th of July to register if you are affected. So as you do this, you are at the same time taking part in the exhibition exercise you are undertaking your civic responsibility of helping the Electoral Commission mm -hmm. to produce a credible register for the election. At the district level, it will be by means of publicity vans and then through some of the local FM stations and publication on the notices board of the district assemblies. Then at the district office, we have a complete album of affected people, their pictures, their names, their ID cards. How about those whose cards... Uh, have been missing and they want to you know get the new cards that is a continuous that is an ongoing process we started far back i think even before the registration exercise so is this ongoing now if you misplace your voter's id card go to any branch of the uh, gcb bank pay your five So that was head of communications at the Electoral Commission, Eric Jakwasu, uh, in an interview there with Mamavi Owusu Abwaje. Uh, Mr. Santi, I know you're still on the line. Uh, the answers given so far, do they in any way uh, address these concerns? Well, for, for one instance, for instance, he, he speaks of uh, the issue that has to do with repetition of names. And he says, well, uh, it, it's not specific to one person because I can be Kofi Boateng, someone else can be Kofi Boateng. So uh, for that, you have to use the number uh, over there. But does it in any way really uh, address all the other problems you've highlighted? You see, the more Mr. Jatpasu talks, the more he exposes the deceit inherent in the commission. I do not know whether he is really on top of his job. I want to tell him on authority. The list presented to the plaintiff, copy of which is with me as I speak to you now, the names were printed. Then in front of the names, we have the police station code. Then in front of the police station code, we have the NHIS number. That is the format they presented to the Supreme Court and then to the plaintiff. I'm looking at the document in front of me now, and Mr. Dapasu doesn't even know that is how the document was formatted and presented to the plaintiff. In that document, you can have about 100 names, and there are no corresponding national health insurance card numbers. Were those names deleted? You can have about 200 names with repeated national health insurance card numbers. Were those names deleted? Mm. Please, the lies and the deceit going on at the Electoral Commission of this country and the wobbly nature of the commission is a worrying trend. The whole Ghana must set up and look at the activities of the Electoral Commission. They are lying to the people of Ghana and they are fed up deepening the lies by telling more lies to sustain previous lies. It's a serious matter. 56,000 names full of card numbers, DKRS, 
and you are telling me you have deleted them. I am telling you on authority, no single name has been deleted from the electoral roll. The 56,000 names were staked with the corresponding NHIS numbers. No okay. wonder some of them are passport numbers, car numbers, and even telephone numbers. The okay. lies and the deceit continue at the east. David Asante, is that to suggest that you see this exercise by the Electoral Commission as an exercise in futility? I mean, uh, something just something they are doing just so uh, they don't get themselves in contempt of court? We told Ghanaians there were two things involved. The list was simply non-existent because when you are going to register to get the voters register, there is no column for you to indicate the type of ID you are using. So the EC couldn't figure out who used any card. Mm. The EC admitted this during the closed door meeting with the plaintiffs that it's difficult for us to tell. The next time they were in court, they said we can do it. So we told them, oh well, they will come and lie to Ghanaians. Eventually, they forged 56,000 names and you faked corresponding national insurance card numbers. Okay. Our the position is simple. Okay. The whole list is entirely bogus, fraudulent, and must be discarded. Do you see this as recipe for disaster going into November? The list in itself and its accompanying problem may not be as problematic as the confused state of the election management body. The list is not a problem. The entity that faked the list has problem with integrity and credibility. Right. That is where the problem is. The David Electoral Santi. Commission has a serious integrity problem. David Asante, many thanks for your time here on News Desk. And David Asante is convener for the Let's My Vote Count Alliance. Well, they've been very critical of the Electoral Commission on a number of occasions. And uh, you heard him there once again, very critical of the EC, uh, suggesting that uh, the commission lacks integrity. And we just brought you uh, a bit of uh, that publication by the Electoral Commission. If you go onto the website, you can take your time and go through. You see most of the things we have highlighted here on News Desk. Now, one of the challenges uh, for many has to do with the fact that, well, if you are in a remote area and uh, you do not have access to the daily graphic or uh, to the website, how do you check whether or not your name has been deleted? Well, uh, there's one very company that has come up with a uh, sort of an application that helps you to do this. And uh, it's very simple. You just need to go to uh, macheki.com. Uh, it's www.macheki.com. And then you key in your details here. And then it's going to tell you whether or not you are part of it. So, for instance, uh, th this is the name, this is the ID number for uh, a colleague who works here at uh, Joy News. We are just trying the number to see whether or not this person is part of it. We could just search uh, to see whether this person's name has been deleted in the row and needs to be re-registered. It says, okay, hooray, you don't need to register again. That's one example there. We'll be keying in some other numbers, particularly from the publication by the Electoral Commission, and then we'll see whether or not uh, it's going to reflect what we have uh, from the Electoral Commission's website. But let's go on to the phone lines now and uh, speak to one of the developers of this uh, very application on the website there, uh, Divine Popolampo, who's joining us now over the telephone lines. Now, Mr. Popolampo, uh, good morning. Thank you very much for joining us here on News Desk. Now, good morning. Uh, first and foremost, I need to find out from you uh, how you got this database and w whether or not you have been working uh, in conjunction with the Electoral Commission in any way. Yeah, uh, first of all, I want to say we are not working officially for the ec we okay. got this list from the ec's website just as um you you can go there some 17 hours ago the list was published and uh being a citizen we went there to check to check to see if our details are also among those deleted list and whether the list is made up of um 56,900 names and it spans um uh, 1,171 pages. So we're just wondering how many tech series people there can actually go through this list? How do you really search through it? And it's in PDF format too. So we had to um, quickly, with one other colleague at Benigan Ketseria, well, over the night we did bring the candle to convert that list into a web readable format. And we came out with the macheki.com where people can just go there, enter their ID, their voters' ID or their NHS ID, and see if their name is part of the 56,900 list that was released by the ET yesterday. So that's, that's basically it. I see. The, so so the, you're the, using the, the database from the Electoral Commission's website. Uh, you've yes. put that together. And then yeah, the one that was probably 17 hours ago on the ET's website. Okay. Okay. But, but yeah. well, I mean, what's your interest? Uh, you're not benefiting from this in any way. No one is paying you, and yet still you're going through this hassle? Um, we felt like, you know, as developers, we are helping to 
having a very credible and uh, you know election when Ghana is mm. when the elections come from peaceful and everything. We don't want the situation where, but we know it will be affected if people go to the uh, voting day and it happens to be that your name is not in the list. There'll be conflict and stuff over there that will affect the stability of the whole nation. So, just a way of we contributing to the um, the the nation of peace building in the country. We just came out with this um, simple application that um, anybody at all can go in there, key in your ID and see if you are you are you are, you are there or not. So you can go back right. and go register. Okay. Divine Pupulampo, yeah. many thanks for your time on News Desk this morning. And Divine Pupulampo is with macheki.com. And you can see that website right behind me there. And uh, we earlier brought to you uh, the situation that happens or the interface that pops up when you key in a number that is not with the register. Uh, let's key in another number that's in the list that has been uh, produced by the Electoral Commission and see what response we get there. There's a new number there, so we just key, keyed it in. And then, uh, interestingly, it happens to be the number of uh, that very controversial person, the 85990984 uh, person over there. So uh, since they are using the database from the EC, this is what is going to pop up. It's going to show you exactly the name of the person, the voter's ID, and the national health insurance card number that was used in that registration process. And it goes on to say you must register again. Mind you, the Electoral Commission says you have between Monday, the 18th of July, to uh, the 28th of July to go through the re-registration process. Well, uh, this particular website may come in handy because it's pretty difficult locating a specific name uh, amongst the list provided by the Electoral Commission. If you go onto the website, like I said, there are 56,900 names, but then there's no search feature there. There's no search engine there. So it becomes difficult to get the specific name you're looking through, unless, of course, you need to go through the entire list. Uh, so uh, if you still need to check, you could use this website and uh, it may come in handy for you. You're watching this desk here on the Join This Channel on Multi TV. We're taking a break. When we come back, we'll bring you updates in the worlds of business and sports. Stay with us. Hello, good morning and welcome to business. Chairman of the Ghana Stock Exchange, Dr. Sam Mensah, is pushing for government to, as a matter of urgency, support the bears take advantage of the rising foreign direct investments from Europe. According to him, the new capital gains tax, coupled with the energy challenges, make the market uncompetitive on the continent. Speaking at the exchange's 26th annual general meeting for the year ended 2015,